When it comes to climate change, I really think that there are two strategies that we need to adopt. One is adapting to what's already in the pipeline. We already know that we are committed to at least four feet of sea level rise. We know that uh, much of the warming and the other impacts of climate change that are underway are due primarily to the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation. And we know that the carbon dioxide that we've put into the atmosphere stays there and continues to have an impact. We need to think about adapting. We need to become more resilient. We need to think about our energy infrastructure, our coastal infrastructure, and we need to think about how we're gonna reduce our carbon dioxide emissions. All of the scenarios that we've run for future climate change are so-called mitigation scenarios. So now all these scenarios assume certain policy decisions are made by governments to uh, reduce uh, the rate of emissions. There is a very real opportunity here to reduce emissions, uh, and if we did so substantially and in a sustained way, that could prevent some of the worst impacts of climate change from playing out. When people say, well, this is, seems pretty hopeless, I say, no, um, we have a scenario where if we followed the scenario and did this at the negative emissions by 2070, so in other words, by 2070, we would have to be taking more CO2 out of the air than we're putting in. Um, now, one of the rules when they come up with these scenarios is uh, you can't invent miracles. 